Fique agora com o nosso Mosaico Online, com os vídeos que fazem sucesso na internet, para você curtir aí do seu sofá. Nessa semana, escolhemos uma reportagem do canal de televisão NTD de Israel, que mostra um pouco de onde chegamos nessa Festa das Árvores em 2012, com os modernos sistemas de irrigação desenvolvidos em Israel. Estamos no deserto, mas o que não falta são árvores. Dá só uma olhada. There's a prevailing thought that says that it's hard to establish agriculture in the desert, but that's not necessarily so, as our Israeli correspondent discovers in a visit to southern Israel. When mentioning the desert, one thinks of dryness, heat and desolation, but it turns out that the desert can bloom, be full of life and yield harvests of fine fruits and vegetables. So actually, if, if you think about desert as desert, you probably think there is no water, but we find a huge aquifer under the desert which allowed us to, to use it and actually we can uh, pump it out and, and make the desert bloom or green uh, with a lot of agriculture. It turns out the desert climate is good for agriculture thanks to the groundwater under the sand dunes. It's possible to, to do a lot of agriculture in the desert because few reasons. First, uh, we have uh, the perfect um, weather for agriculture. We can grow vegetables in the winter, which is really hard to do in the center or in the, on the north of Israel. Second, we have um, uh, the experience and the brackish water that will allow us to do that uh, in easy way. So agriculture in the desert, it's not opposite. It's really combined together very well. Although the groundwater is somewhat salty, it turns out that the saltiness actually improves the fruit. The brackish water we're digging from the aquifer are more, as, as much as more salt. We can produce uh, uh, sweeter and better uh, f uh, vegetables. Arbel explains the phenomenon in which a plant in stress gives a sweeter fruit. Uh, what's happened when you irrigate the fruits or the vegetables with uh, brackish water, the plant is in a very stress, is, uh, is suffering, and is producing less um, leaves and more fruits smaller fruits with uh, less water inside and a lot of meat what we call and actually that's make it three times sweeter than uh, usual fr uh, vegetables. The Negev area covers 13,000 square kilometers, about 60 percent of Israel. The question is, if there is water and agriculture, which means there is employment, why do only 600,000 people live in the Negev? A lot of people think the desert is hot, which is not right. We are suffering from cold here more than, than hot. Uh, a lot of people doesn't know the Negev. And because they doesn't know the Negev, they think that it's not really a place they will consider to live in. But I think this uh, perspective is changing, perspective is, is changing in the last few years. And on this note, we say goodbye to this blooming and beautiful area in southern Israel. NTD News, Israel.